Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. I'm Johnny B, and I'm over here, and together we are... Modelling, Modelling for advantage. advantage! That's a true fact. That is a fact, mate. So, uh, John, what are we doing today? Michael, today we're playing one of my favourites, Lost Patrol. Lost Patrol. So, I've never played this game. John loves it because it's a tatty old piece of dead Warhammer. It's not that loves bad. That stuff. Um, in terms of the models, though, John... I'm going to be playing the, the Space Marine Scouts. You are the generic Space Marine Scouts. You're going to be playing the Gene Stealers. I'm playing the filthy Gene Stealers. So tell me how these particular Scouts have been modelled for advantage, because they all look like they're crouching for a poo, <laughs> They are, in they fact. They don't look like my Scouts. Crouching for a poo. So I decided that I didn't want Blood Angels running around in the jungle. Oh, yeah. Is that stupid? Or so I've made Marines. Or Ultramarines or anyone with a brightly coloured armour. Yeah. So I've modelled five wonderfully, perfectly <laughs> <laughs> pooing Space Marines that have been stolen from uh, another 40k kit. Now the game in itself actually comes with uh, 12 Gene Stealers, I believe, and five of your standard Space Marine Scouts, which are available, you know, the, the, the Space Marine Scouts with the, the standard those guys. Yeah. So they are in the box. These ones, however, are off of the Land Speeder Storm. Uh, ah, which is the that's where all these weird vehicle. poses. That's why they should be sitting on the sides. <laughs> Hanging should off be sitting the on sides. the sides of things yes. and you know hanging off of things but i think it gives them a little yeah. bit of a dynamic, a a dynamic pose. pose i think that's all right that's and all right. they're they're shit scared so i mean <laughs> it makes sense for them to all be pooping so in terms of in terms of the mechanics of this game i understand that this actually plays a little bit like Space Hulk. It should be. I, I think some of the core mechanics are very similar, as in very the similar. way you're rolling dice, you're killing stealers on sixes, mm -hmm. and stealers are killing you on like anything but a one. Uh, but we're going to that. It's, it's a fairly simple rule set with, right. a, with a fairly simple mission. Mm -hmm. So, what's our mission, John? The mission is for the scouts, they find themselves in a jungle. They find themselves at and many crossroads here. There's the bit with that man eating giant centipede. Yes, with it. the centipede that's actually friendly. The scout. So, this is where you're starting. All oh, five yeah. of your scouts will start in this tile. And then immediately from there, we're going to draw tiles yeah. uh, with a line of sight. You've got all sorts of tiles. You have straights, which obviously you continue the line of sight, in which case you'll place another tile. If that, however, intersects with a corner piece, that, that's got a giant Venus flag. Yes, it has, mate. You're on a in well, it. If that hits one of those, or a dead end, which there's a couple of in there, or one of these mm -hmm. intersections here, then the line of sight stops and your view of the jungle stops there. Right. Anyways, so what all we're trying to do, though? guys, you need to find the ultimate objective whilst yeah. you're working your way through this jungle is to find an escape pod which looks actually like something you've landed <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> look like it's going to lift off me I think the idea is you're going to push a little button on here oh, right. and someone's going to come and get you right assuming cool. you're not dead or eating or yeah. anything else now am I right believing that you've never played a game of this where the scouts have actually escaped that is correct <laughs> <laughs> I think so this is payback the, for the, closest, the closest we got was like two tiles away from the draw now the way it does you get all these tiles you stack them all up and give them yeah. a bit of a shuffle and yeah. you'll place them procedurally generated map that's yeah. it from this tiles. one is always at the bottom right so your mission is to not only get that but to get that you need you to, to burn the entire jungle. tiles so that needs to be a primary focus of your your Marines. So peeking round corners is what we're all peeking about. Peeking round corners, taking as much advantage as you can from these intersections and getting, hopefully, some of it's luck at a draw, mm -hmm. hopefully you'll get a few straights to churn right. through those cards. Uh, there's one other card uh, which has straights and corners, so it's a bit of a mix, but it's also got this tangle weed on it. Right. Now this does not impede gene stealers, but it does impede space marines. Is that Miss a girl? If you find yourself in here, mm -hmm. to move out of the said square, you need to roll a four or more. Right. So it could potentially, and you only have two actions per turn as a scout per right. model. You can potentially burn through all of your actions just trying to fight your way through this weed. So that's it. So let's start off, all five of your models, which consists of three normal bolt gun scouts, one heavy bolter scout, and one sergeant scout. Heavy bolter. This is the so only good. time that they will be allowed to be in the same tile together. Ah, uh, so there is a stacking limit, just there not There is a stacking limit of two. Like Ludo. Like Ludo. 
Okay, um, so there will be, yeah, that's the only time they can all be in there. Um, they can only have two in each tile from there on oh. as you're exploring the map. Now, as a scout, you get two actions per phase. You can either move and shoot, shoot and move, double shoot, double move. Right. You only have two actions per piece. Move is one tile. Move is one tile. Um, shoot it's unlimited range in the sense that you can't as shoot around corners yeah as long as you have a line of sight um, and to fire you'll be rolling a dice and you'll need a six you get two dice no <laughs> sorry that's a complete lie <laughs> uh, you can see through all the tiles determine the effect roll one dice you only get one dice for your bolt guns and you right. need a six to kill but the heavy bolter gives you two when you're firing, but still need that sixes to kill. That seems really grim. Yeah, really, really grim. And they've only got two actions each. Assault is done predominantly in a gene stealer phase. If they, I would imagine so, If yeah. they are in an adjacent tile. Adjacent, not the adjacent, same. Adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah. Then they attack that square, that tile. Right. Uh, as an example, there's two there. We have this here. Now this is a, a, a weird mechanic, but gene stealers, as they're on the board, mm -hmm. they have a set assault value, and it goes up in two per gene stealer in the square beside. Right. So one gene stealer is an assault value of two. Two is four, three is six. And they have no stacking limit? Um, I think, again, it's only three per, that's the max you can have. And for the assault to happen, which will be in the gene stealer phase, we roll a dice. Um, okay, yeah, so you roll a single dice for a scout. So I'm assaulting here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, sim a few modifiers that can, um, can happen in this assault. So you need a six there to kill, a four there to win, a two there to win. Right, because that's the assault. Oh, stacking. right, the assault value. So you're going to roll the, a dice. Is the target exactly number. right. That's what we're going for. Right. There are a few modifiers. One of which, if the sergeant, much like Space Hulk, you get plus one to that dice roll. Okay. You get minus one to the dice roll if you're a lonely scout. If you're the lonely only scout, scout in the tile. And you're someone's also, always on their own because you can only stack quite up Quite possibly, two. yeah, yeah. Mm. If the heavy bolt has line of sight to the target square where the assault is happening, you gain plus one. Right. As they give you supporting fire. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So I'm going to basically, my actions per phase, I get three as a gene stealer player, yeah. which can be spawn. So one gene stealer is one blah, 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 blah. point. Uh, two is two, three is three. Or I can move. And it's different. The, the way they move is dependent on how many gene stealers are in the tile. Right. So three gene stealers for one point, one action point in the stealer phase can move one tile. Bloop. If it's two stealers, then for one action point, they can move two tiles. And if it's one gene stealer, then for one action point, he can move three tiles. Right. And they're free to group up later. They can group up as they go along. Two I can, singles can become a yeah, pair and they move can become a pair afterwards as a pair. And then they move as a pair. But they'd move as two singles until the next yes. phase. Yes. When they be, would I become believe a pair. So. Okay. Um, another thing to note is gene stealers also are not impeded by the yeah. tangleweed. Mm. which I think I've already mentioned, but also they are not restricted by the barriers between. Oh. So you, oh. you may be in this tile here. There is no clear path to that tile. However, gene stealers in that tile, Can as it is you. adjacent to you, will attack. So you're not meant to win this game, no. as you can see. <laughs> no. Well, 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 we'll see, because obviously a master of tactics such as myself. <laughs> if anyone's going to have a chance, I think it might be you. It'll be the guy who's never played the game before. Uh, yeah. Right. So this goes at the bottom, you said. That must go at the bottom. Does These this not need shuffling in kind of thing? In. Let's put some in there, some in there, some in there. We need that tile. That's the starting square. That's the starting square. One in there. And we're going to do a bit of that. And then we'll give that a little shuffle as much as we can. Uh, we've been we've been telling to play if we've got a dice tray, a drop dice don't count, and dice outside the tray don't count. That's pretty much the rolls is. So that's those. And your escape pod, or whatever the hell it is, looks like a poke can to me at the bottom. And that will be there. So all five of my dude bros are in here. All five start in there. Okay. Another thing to note. Oh yeah. And this is going to be quite important. It impacts where I put my dude bros. It will not impact where you put your dude bros, but it will impact where you move your dude bros. 
Mm-hmm. At the end of each phase, yeah. Oh, sorry. At the beginning of each gene stealer action phase, mm-hmm. we look at removing jungle tiles because it is always moving. Mm-hmm. It's changing around you. Okay. And how that's done is we can start setting up the board whilst explaining it. That's a corner, so your line of sight ends there. Mm-hmm. If you cannot see. Uh, a specific tile in your line of sight mm-hmm. and you cannot speculatively see it if you were to move in your next turn two tiles then it disappears right you can use this in some cases you might be able to run away lose line of sight of said gene stealers and then that section of jungle will disappear in and which case the gene go stealers it. go with it but also you can become split up by the very same thing Mm. So you need to keep your scouts relatively close together yeah. with a speculative What happens movement. to the tiles that are removed? They just, they're gone. They don't go back Forever. into the pile. They're just out of the game. Right. So this will never get more than what we already have here. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. Do we start by setting up all of these visible Yes, paths? that's what we're going to do. Um, and does the facing there? matter for the mind? No, nope. not a thing. So that's a straight there, but it's also a tangleweed, which is yeah. a shame which leads to another straight, which is also a tangleweed. Now I put these in completely separate, which leads to another straight. Oh, this is where it's going to get interesting. We could do with having a corner. <laughs> we could really do with having a corner. There we go. Well, that's different. Um, as I'm placing the tiles, which and Gene do you does, get to place them? Right, so you yes, get to make the but I cannot, if there's a, a possibility for it to lead somewhere like a free space over here then they must i have to place that i can't deliberately have a little curve block here when it can be going the other way so that's a block tile that's a little corner uh perfect instance i can't put it the other way so it blocks yeah. there yeah one over there which is ironically a little loop so that's a little shrub Oh, got some more straights coming out. I think half the work's done. Oh, and then a tangleweed. So it looks like this is relatively easy access here and here. This is pointless to fight your way through that. Yeah. To get over there. So does it start with my turn? It starts with, yes, your turn. Scout player takes his actions first. So I'll start one action here. Okay. And then we now, place tiles don't generate until the end of the phase oh so that's another thing uh, also any places any ends entry points essentially so i can spawn in these areas even there. if i'm there i don't think i can if you're there so you can block it up as it were so as you are now i cannot spawn in that but you could spawn there or there. i could spawn there I could still technically spawn here and here. Right, okay. So I think then I should do this and this. Okay, perfect. So you've got the heavy bolter in the middle there supporting both tiles. Jobs are good. Un. Would I be wrongly assuming that this guy couldn't be attacked alone? Yeah, what do you mean? Are you able to spawn and attack me? If I spawn one, in fact, if I spawn two gene stealers, because the movement's done, as I say, the more gene stealers, the less, uh, the less distance they move. So one gene stealer moves three squares, two gene stealers will move two. And there we go. So that's mostly a better option. So you're not. Because you can't alone. spawn there. I can't or spawn there. there or could there. there or there. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's your actions done. Then comes to my phase. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it's just before that. It's the remove jungle tiles that you cannot see. Right. So you've got clear line of sight down here. You still have clear line of sight down here. Um, let's say, for instance, the speculative move is say there were some more tiles over here. You can't see them right now, but you could have potentially in your next turn, mm-hmm. whether it's your intention to or not, get there. So they would stay in in play. If that makes sense. Yeah? Yes. 
Okay, so then after removing any tiles that need to be removed, we mm -hmm. then add tiles. Yes. Which could be interesting because that's before the gene stealer action phase. Ah, so you, you're not actually going to be able to spawn on either of these two points. Oh, no, I can, I can spawn here because it's still active. Yeah. I can't spawn there, but I'm about to place tiles that will lead away from here. And that's nothing you can really account for because this game is insane. Yeah, okay. Right? So... I'm just wondering whether I should have moved there at all. But anyway. I think you need to because you need to cycle through these. And to do that, you need a line of sight out yeah. of these areas. So I'm going to start over here, first one. That's a corner. Do you get to choose wherever you put it or do you have to follow a path? Um, as far as I'm aware, we'll just... We'll do it clockwise if you like to make it a pattern. No, no, I mean, but I don't pull a tile now and put it there and pull a tile now and put it there. It has to be where you have you've to got follow a clear all, line of sight. No, no, no. Do you have to follow all tiles in one line of sight? Yes, I keep going. Yeah. So if that was a straight, yeah, I'd keep, I'd keep doing you that. You couldn't put the, the next draw somewhere else if that was a straight. Yeah, I think that's the way it goes. Okay. You, you keep going consecutively yeah. until you lose line of sight around the corner. Okay. So that one there, that being a bend, you lost line of sight there. Over here, we've got what is... That counts as a bend? Yes. Which is sort of a bend. <laughs> okay. Yep. Straights are literally that. Right. Uh, yeah, th that even looks, this counts as a bend, I mean, even though it's pretty yeah, straight. Yeah. Okay. And that counts as a bend. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Right. Um, ideally, they maybe would have written <laughs> bend or straight no, 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 no. on the corners. Uh, uh, so that's that there and there and then we've got one more over there which is that one is a definite straight so that so continues. now you have to try and make this contiguous yes now i could do that well you have to don't you yeah so there we go so that's that that really didn't lead anywhere interesting now it's my action how many phase. tangle foot tiles are there in there because uh, four apparently of them are all of them are out <laughs> <laughs> right okay. no, i think there's about six tangle foot tiles okay. so once you've fought your way through one of these yeah you should be okay but you can spawn in my line of sight i can spawn in your line of sight because i just burst out the bushes yeah now i could be but i'm not going to be because i'd like to get just a little bit more in so i'm going to be nice and easy and we'll go one there uh just so we see how combat works i'm going to put one there and we'll start a spawn over here an alternate option, three spawn points I get, of which I can use some to do movement with yep. those tiles. I can also place down one of these infestation tokens. In addition? Not in addition, but as one of the actions. Now, once this is placed in a, a, a section, that mm -hmm. then counts as a spawn point. In addition to whatever, to whatever ends, it I doesn't have. spawn a free one. It's no, just a place you can I, spawn from. I can spawn from there. If a scout, however, moves into that tile, it is immediately destroyed because he kicks over all the. He just mounds. kicks it. He doesn't even notice it's there. He stamps yeah. on it, and how a gene stealer and fits out of these caves in, yeah. mate. I do not know. But they're all slamming Wrigley, aren't they? That's it. That's how it is. <laughs> right. Um, so. so those actions are done. And there were I've your spawned, action points. I've spawned, I've spawned. So I've spawned three just for this first round mm -hmm. so we can see what happens. Now there is one assault that's going to happen as there yes. is a gene stealer adjacent now, to your scout. Now, what you've told me... Yes, tell me. You've told me that the assault happens automatically. Yes, at the end of the first, And yeah. that the target, the kill, the scout victory number is two, four, or six, depending yes. on the number of gene stealers. Yes. You've told me that if I'm alone, I'm on a minus one. Yes. And you told me that if the heavy bolter has line of, sight. line of sight, that's plus one. Yes. Was unclear on whether that was line of sight to the person being assaulted or not. It's the it's it the the tile being assaulted. So this guy wins on twos. He wins on twos with a plus one and a minus one for being the loner and a plus one for being. Do you ever roll bolter. a dice? No, so I don't know why I got those out. <laughs> Just uh, in case I ever do have to roll a dice, maybe. Okay, if it comes up. So, on a two. Two plus, but a one, you're dead. You're fine. So that's a gene stealer. Any destroyed gene stealers go back into the spawn back pool. Back into the spawn pool. So that's the end of the first gene stealer phase, and it moves on to the scouts action phase. So two actions per scout. Two actions per scout. Okay. So, uh these two are yep. going to move here okay this scout is going to shoot this gene stealer okay. so shoot someone a six single dice six is the kill 
Well, oh. that's just funny, isn't it? Okay. He is destroyed. He moves to there. That was his second action. So, he moves to there. And he moves to there, because I cannot have three in one space. That is correct. Okay. I was going to say happy, but obviously you have no idea if you should be happy or not. No. Do I only ever roll one dice? Oh, uh, two, two, a two if you get a heavy bolt round off. Uh, uh. Right, so it comes to the clean up the jungle phase. Mm. So one, two from that scout means you can still see all of this. I can see to there and I can there. speculatively see Yes, there. that's yeah. what you have to do. Two moves on from there. So everything can still be seen. No jungle is to be removed. After that, we then add additional tiles to what you can see. You've got a little junction there. Ooh. I would love to be able to scoot this across. However, it's a rubberized mat and these tiles are not going to slip around too much. Uh, so once that's done, I get my three actions. Now, I think I'm just going to be brutal now and go a little bit brutal. I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to go three. And you automatically assault both of those tiles? I think it's only one. I, I choose the tile in which I'm going to assault. Okay. So that is what I will do. Infest, and we can move, and we can infest, and we can assault. Uh, they will launch and assault after everything else. So it was made from a tile within any gene stealer into any gene stealer into an adjacent tile, and it's occupied by any scouts. Gene stealers do not need to follow paths when they assault. Awesome. They can assault from one adjoining tile to another, regardless of whether there is a path or not. Gene stealer can make one assault per turn, and all of the gene stealers in the same tile must assault the same enemy occupied tile. So I can only assault one. It's viable for me to assault this, even though they're not linked, because mm -hmm. gene stealers burst through bushes. But I'm going to assault the lonely guy. So it's four because you've got two guys. That's correct. I am alone, so yes. that's five. Yep. But the heavy bolter can see, so that's four. Fours. Four up. Oh, he's just no. And that's the second six, and I've, I've rolled what three dice and rolled three sixes or something. Let's just make sure there's nothing broken here. No, no, no. Oh, they're right. all broken. They're Definitely all broken. Okay. Do so you kill a single? Oh, just the one. Yes. Just the one. All right. Kill a so dude. that was two of your action points because you spawned two steel and spawn, another one to move them one up. One to, to two. move them. They could have moved up to two. Yes. Right. That is correct. That and you didn't want to move them there. The end of. The game. The, men. <laughs> the game. No, it's not the end of the game. So it moves on to me sure. again. So I move to here. And I move. The heavy bolter moves back to there and takes a shot. So it gets two dice. Now you it? don't have line of sight. Oh, do I not? No. So I take the shot and then move. You don't have line of sight, even if you stay there. Oh, really? Because there's literally the bush. This here. Even though he could assault me. He can assault you, but it doesn't necessarily mean you can see him. I That's see. another ridiculous Gene Stealer perk in this wonderful game. Right, well, these so two bear that in mind. Here, yeah. And this guy will take his shot. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what, what's going on? <laughs> Destroyed. Gork and Mark are helping me out, mate. You've, you've taken the, uh, yeah. Okay. You, you just need I mean, to win you it. can't compete with numbers like that, yeah. can you? Right, so then we're going to go back to what you can and can't see. Now, this scout here, one, two, one, two, can still see everything that is on the board. So nothing's going to change. So this gene still is still absolutely fine. Moves on to my spawn. I'm going to go with a one, two. Nothing stops me. I can move wherever the hell I like because I'm a gene stealer. But I'm actually, mm, you might be able to get line of sight there. Should you have put these on first? Yes, I should have. So let's do that. Thank you very much. There's a doofer. Keep mm. going. Oh, 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 there's a giant oh, oh, man oh, oh, in spider oh, oh, oh. there. Wow. I don't want to go that way. Well, it looks like you're going that way. I think I am. And then it comes to a corner. I'm going to face it that way in the hopes that you'll go around there and we yeah. won't lose yeah. it off of the table. 
Dice train's going to have to move. Do we want to... Uh, with the mat will shift a little bit? I mean, the mat will shift, but the tiles on the mat will not. No, but that might make it a little bit more... Well, we can see well. plenty of that. It's just if we come any further this <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. Which we're about to see. Let's do that. If you do, if you do it the other way, then it's very unlikely to ever go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's viable. So let's do that. It's tangle for I'm not going that way, John. Yes. Indeed. The only reason we're going that way is to leave that last idiot <laughs> scout in there to stop you spawning there. Right, I'm still going to spawn over there because I don't like this guy. It looks like yeah. he's drunk. It looks like he's going to so fall over. Two there and you can move. Two and I will move one and I will move to the same square again. Now, I'm false. kind of hoping that, yes, it is still fours. You kill a gene stealer. There is one remaining in that tile. Ironically, you can't see him to shoot him this turn. And as you move specifically that way. That is the end of the gene stealer phase. So... You're burning through a fair amount of these tiles. It's uh, yes, that's quite good. I need to start actually killing some dudes. So these guys move up. Whoops. Okay. One, two. One. Uh, you will most really need to finish him before moving on to another. This, yeah. The heavy bolt is moving there. Okay. I can move through. I just can't end up. Is that correct? If there's two here, this guy can move through, you just can't You stop. just can't have three in a tile. Yeah. You can have okay. two in a tile, that's absolutely fine. We'll go there, and these two will go there. Okay. Right, and then that's the end of that round. Now we look speculatively, one, two, so any line of sight from there will be to see that tile and see that tile. Well, not this, or this. And that tile, you can see that. So that goes, that goes. And these two. You can see to there. So, yeah. And there. So, all of this disappears. Does it? Yep. Because you can't draw a line assigned to it. Which means that gene stiller disappears too. And there we go. What was that one? That was around there, wasn't it? Mm, that was here, I think. But anyway, was it? can't be seen. No, it can't. It was whatever seen. connected yep. here. So, there you go. And that's how the jungle properly. And then changes. one goes here. Get one there. New tile. It's a bend of sorts. Okay. My turn. I'm not going to piss about now. Let's go three. As you look around the corner, so you it's find... It's a six. It's a six, and I'm going to assault that square, please. Ah, that's not... So, they... Are on four. Not getting a negative because there's They're two scouts alone. there. Um, but you're not getting a plus because the heavy bolter is in the square oh, being assaulted. Really? Yeah, so he, he gives covering fire to squares that he's not involved okay. in. That was not a six, so I lose a guy. You lose a guy. Oh. And then it moves on to the scout action phase. The scout action phase. Right. Well, this scout is just going to try and shoot those. Again, you cannot draw a line of sight. Oh, which scout? Did you point to this, this one? Scout, yeah. That one certainly can, sir. No. Nope. Nope. Second action. No. Nope. Nope. These guys go one, two. Mm -hmm. And this guy goes one, two. Wonderful. It's a good shout. I'm not sure that it is. Well, you know. Okay, so that's the end of your phase. So we remove this. one, two, so you can see this. Yeah. Uh, from a from a movement, but if you were to move those. two, there you go. Jungle is shrinking, sir. Now there's nothing to stop you from going back that way. Yes. Um, which is a tactic, but you don't need to at this moment in time. I am noticing that we are creeping ever closer to the edge of the world. There's very few tiles, so why don't we move them? We can we can have a go. Now's, so now's the time to yeah. do it. That's the group. If this goes here, Let's bring that over there. These go here and here. As most of the action is going down that corridor, and there's not many tiles left. No, no. Surprisingly, you are 
five away from finding the last tile. Only one guy needs to get out, right? You just need one guy winning the game. If the scout player has one or more scouts in the tile with a drop ship, apparently it's a drop ship. That is not a drop ship. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of any turn, at the end yeah. of any turn, then they win. Right, okay. So we need to put this on. So yep, yeah, now we've taken that away, we regenerate the jungle. It's a little corner, let's bring you back round. Let's make you do a loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop. Now it's my turn, because that's the only square that you uncover. I'm going to hold those there, and I'm going to spawn another three over there. That is my action for this phase. Uh, the holding hand. Oh, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on. We're not quite right. Why this we didn't quite connect Because right? this goes here. I was connecting this tile to the wrong bit. Oh. We connected it there, yes, not there. Okay. That's all right. I was thinking. It's the same but different. Whoops. This comes up here. This is going round. Ooh. This is where we're finding the, the drawbacks of the rubber mat. Yes. Right. Ironically, I think we've too far this way now but that's fine i'm sure you can still see what's going on we've got a scout At here time three good. stealers scout yeah. two scouts let's have the tray let's, let's do see it if I can bring roll the tray back is. so those three are going to assault he now. can't roll us he can't win um we'll say a natural six you can win so he's dead he dies eh. Over there, this is an interesting one. It's so it's a assault value of six. You get plus one for the sergeant, you get plus one for covering fire from the heavy bolter. And Whoops. you kill a stealer, but only one. That's a long road. He said dice outside the tray don't count, John. Oh, okay, the well, of the yeah, game. That's, that's fine. So I lose a scout. Wow. And you get a stealer back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the end of the Gene Stealer phase. I think that's the end of the game. I think that could very well be the end of the game. <laughs> you sure you don't want to chop your way through those sealers at the end? Uh, now that I'm on my own, it's an especially good idea. I think so. Yeah. Well, I think it's also my only plan. Because I can't get away from those. Got you in a corridor of death, my man. Yeah, this corridor is not a good idea. Mm -mm. One, two... He'll shoot these guys yep. twice. Sixes. Nope. nope. Steal a face. Uh, they don't disappear. I'm thinking they Yeah, because you've still got line of sight to here. No, yeah, they but do I can't disappear. move around that they corner. They do disappear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gone. Can you hack your way through? So, I'm just fives, right? They're going to assault. Assault value six and fives. Nope. nope. We'll lose the heavy ball. Scout phase. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> ah, shoot him twice. Take one, one out. Yeah. Steal a phase. Uh, yeah, but you could have just put three. I think you failed to put three stealers down. That's at some fine. Point. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Steal a phase. I'm gonna go. Put three there. Three there. Just to chase you off the board. Yeah. Uh, and there will be a single assault. That's one, two, three. So that's all of my actions. So I mean, that's a waste. I'm on really, fours because I'm plus one, minus one. Yes. That, sir, is a spark of hope. <coughs> that's the end of the stealer phase. Scout phase. Come on. Shoot. No. Shoot. No. That one was. <laughs> Steal a phase. I think he needs some reinforcements down there. So you, you can but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. Because uh, they can only move one, though, can't they? One. Yeah, so one, two, three. Three actions per phase. So I'm going to just burn it all on that. Right. Hopefully that will be another Does he clue. attack on his own? He attacks on his own. He will attack on his own first, on the two plus. He's dead. <laughs> Couldn't you have done it the other way around? Sorry about that. Then they will attack. Oh, <laughs> it's wow, all over. Wow, wow. Can we just see what was around the corner? We would have then gone to a dead end. 
<laughs> so they were more hammered and nailed than they even thought they were. Like, right, well, it's interesting because I felt like long corridors, that's what I want to do the shooting. No. It's quite the, the opposite. shooting is trash. Yep. All you need to do is burn through. You want to utilize these as much as possible. Yeah. Just get out of line of sight just long enough for the jungle to disappear. Yeah, yeah, no. But I realized I, I tried back. to keep them coherent. Yes. Um... But always having tail end it's Charlie is really, a real problem. It's a really difficult thing to do. You could just go exploding potato and, and to hell with it. Just send the ball out to burn through as many cards as you can. I'm not convinced that works. No, I'm not either. But I'm not convinced anything works. You're not convinced anything works. <laughs> In this game. Yeah. Because as much as I felt like, oh, I came within like five towers at the end. Well, I did, but the actual situation on the ground was really different to that. Yes. Because that was a dead end. Yes. But also... I rolled like three sixes in a row at the beginning, which I needed. Yes. Yeah. So but that's, that's, I mean, that is Lost Patrol. Do not expect to win if you play Marines, but hopefully have some fun along the way. Definitely want to play this again. Yeah. This is one you can just keep picking up and playing. Thank you for watching. Woo!